Hey guys, how you doing? Uncle Bob here, once again with another video. And today we're going to be doing uh, the, well, not really a review, but we're going to be looking at uh, my updated uh, Marvel The Punisher 2004 Thomas Jane uh, movie uh, figure which I've obviously got the uh, or had the figure and uh, yeah I mean if you've seen on the other video uh, already done a couple of these already had the I bought the Punisher a couple of years ago and it came with no weapons uh, didn't even come with a jacket and uh, originally the version had the jacket but you know the weapons that come with uh, wasn't you know there wasn't from the movie uh, so I don't know why they ever made one that was the pun Thomas Jane Punisher because the 2004 movie they'd just make one in the style of Punisher in you know the Punisher Thomas Jane version but then they just didn't care really too much about the weapons and just give him any Punisher weapons but it was a bit silly really because they should have just done it like the movie and give him weapons from the movie you know instead of just being a Thomas Jane version with you know random weapons was a bit you know funny but uh, so anyway uh, I decided to get one uh, without any weapons and accessories and then I decided I thought you know what because there isn't one, I'm going to try and get all of the weapons, uh, or almost all of them, uh, from the movie. Because, you know, I love, if you've heard before, I, I love the, uh, you know, the 2004 uh, Punisher movie. Um, and yeah, so, and I wanted one, because you, know, you know me, I'm all about the movies. And yeah, I wanted one that had all the weapons, so then I just decided to buy, you know, pretty much all the weapons that I could get, literally, from the movie. Uh, now, unfortunately, there's some that I couldn't get, but I think this is probably about as far as I can probably get it now, uh, considering it's been, this has been updated a couple of times, and I uh, recently up-to-dated it because I've got a few new shotguns, and yeah, yeah literally just wanted to get one and have all the weapons and just literally you know uh just have it like that um and if you've seen on the other videos um now i've got them all in this because i'll have them all in this little uh container just to keep them all so they don't get lost because some have disappeared a few times because they're so small and yeah, so if you'd seen what I'd had already, because uh, you know, we're not going to go through all the whole thing again. So, you know, if you'd seen in the other video, I had the bow and arrow, which is that it's for a 12 inch figure, it's for like basically a 12 inch Rambo figure, but uh, I couldn't find the one that was smaller, so uh, I ended up just using this. Now, it doesn't fit on him, and uh, I'm not going to display it ever with that anyway but I thought I'd just get it you know because it is from the movie um you already know I had that uh so he's got the uh, machete type weapon that he uses in the movie which is obviously not that exact one but uh you know uh it's quite similar and then already had the shotgun which I now <laughs> uh it was a full scale shotgun uh which uh, you know, would have been perfect for this because he obviously uses that before he becomes a Punisher. But then I tried to cut it down, or I say saw it down to make it look like a sawn-off shotgun, and obviously uh, it didn't turn out uh, too well. And then I've ended up getting a sawn-off shotgun anyway, so uh, uh, regret uh, cutting that down. But never mind, uh, still do, and. Uh, the automatic machine gun, I can't think of the uh, 
name of it, the variation of this. Uh, but it's, it's pretty much, this is pretty much almost like the one that he uses in the movie uh, at the end uh, when he storms, you know, when he, he goes towards the uh, Saints building and uses that very similar to that old Mac machine gun, uh, which I had already. Now he uses this, well, he doesn't actually use it in, well, you see him uh, go to use it in the film, but never actually gets to fire it because uh, he's fighting the Russian and then it gets crushed by the Russian. Uh, but yeah, I thought that'd be cool to add. Uh, I believe there's another gun. I'm not sure if this exactly is the right one, but there's a, uh, there's a smaller handgun that is on his uh, weapons table. You see, we know when he's not preparing uh, for the next for uh, various battle scenes throughout the movie. You see him got a whole whole load of weapons on the table, and I believe one of these is sort of like another handgun. But I don't think he actually ever fires it. Uh, I think he uses like uh, Colts. 9-11 uh, Colts uh, in the movie, but it doesn't actually fire that other one. Uh, and he's got a couple of bombs. Uh, uh, again, not the ones that he uses in the movie, but uh, they are round uh, grenades that he uses in the movie. And then uh, when I was looking on eBay, I saw these ones with the skulls, and I thought, I'm going to get those, uh, even though, you know, they're not. But I thought, I'll just get them because they look cool. I thought, that just go well uh with the punisher uh and yeah now another gun that he uh is in the movie poster but uh he never actually uses it in the movie but it's on the movie poster uh he's holding that on the movie poster but never fires it in the film <sighs> now uh he's got on him a grenade that i've managed to attach uh, to the side of his leg. It doesn't actually go there, but it managed to fit on. Then he's got uh, another 9-11 uh, cult in there, because he has two in a scene during the movie. Uh, so there's a 9-11 cult in the uh, holster, and he's got a 9-11 cult uh, holding. Uh, this is how I've got my display at the moment. So I'll in one 9-11 cult there. Uh, the bombs just fell off, and then I already had one of these uh, Remington shotguns, uh, but it's for Blade, um, so I thought, you know, so I keep swapping them around, and every time I wanted uh, to use one for punch, I didn't want to keep borrowing off a Blade, so I uh, kept one on Blade, and I bought another Remington shotgun for punch, because he uses that uh, when he goes to uh, the Saints building, and then holds them up. Uh, uh, the shotgun uh, so that's what I've got him holding uh, at the moment so I've got another uh, Remington shotgun and um, well uh, now I've put uh, the knife I put uh, one knife in there because he's got that knife uh, already in there but it's, it's not removable uh, so I just put uh, or combat style knife that he sort of uses in the movie so I just thought because that's you know not removable I decided to fit that into there so it sort of looks like you know that's there and you can sort of move it out well that's, that was the idea you know so sort of you know it's you can make it you know sort of removable uh, I just thought I'd do that uh, and yeah it's just a combat style knife um, there's also uh, there's a couple of other knives that he uses uh, weapon type uh, things in the movie which I was unable to get. Uh, however, there was one that was sort of like uh, one that fires. It's sort of like a spring loaded uh, type weapon, and it's sort of similar to this. It's sort of like a knife blade, and it's sort of it sort of hold it like a knife. Press this button, it flicks out, you know, like a blade. Um, if it's got spring loaded, uh, can't remember the name of it, spring loaded uh, weapon of some sort. Uh, but yeah, I couldn't, couldn't find that on eBay, but this is what I had already some uh, knife, and I thought, yeah, that's quite similar to that. So I thought I'd get that, and again, that side has got a knife that's not removable, so I thought I'd tuck that into there as well. 
Um, and yeah, just literally, I mean, there's there's a few other weapons, as I said, I wasn't able to get. Uh, but those were the closest that I could uh, find. Then, yeah, it's uh, looking pretty cool. Certainly better than it was when I first got it. Uh, got those two guns. That gun on a grenade. And obviously the jacket on it. Uh, I got quite recently which is just an awesome jacket and I don't even think that this is uh, the one that he uses from the movie because uh, I didn't check to see if it's got all the things attached to it but it's still pretty awesome anyway and uh, I think it's definitely a cool thing to have with the uh, grade cartridges and knives and magazine uh, magazine uh, cartridges I guess and there's some more magazines stuff uh, attached yeah it's a pretty awesome jacket and now uh, two other guns that I've got uh, was another uh, shotgun model which I can't think of the name of uh, is this actually not one of his uh, sort of foam weapons he actually takes this off of one of the uh, saints men uh, during the sort of uh, when he's sort of going to become or before he becomes a punisher I should say uh, I think when the saints murdered his family and uh, and I think he takes off of one of the saints men and he uses it uh, I think he kills one of the saints with it I'm not too sure but anyway he uses that and I thought that would be cool to add cool type shotgun and then the other one I needed, which actually turns out to be too big. Uh, it's a sworn off shotgun that actually was supposed to be this, uh, which was, uh, you know, uses a normal size shotgun and then he saws it down. Uh, so that was actually supposed to be that sworn down, but you know, it's a totally different uh, model. And uh, yeah, because that was the idea. But uh, obviously went wrong, and yeah, so that was supposed to be, well, in the movie, anyway, he has an all shotgun and then saws it down, but you know, it's a totally different model. Uh, so yeah, that was the idea, so really I should have kept that as it was, and then, you know, got that as well. So that's basically supposed to be that, you know, because he saws it down in the movie, and then it becomes sort of shotgun, so I thought I'd get that as well. Uh, I already had another shotgun, but that was for, I'm using that for Mad Max. And uh, yeah, so I ended up getting another shotgun, but it turns out this is for a 12 inch figure, not a 6 inch figure, and it's just way too big. So uh, probably not going to uh, ever display it with this because it's just massive. Uh, so it'll probably be just used, uh, just displayed uh, next to him. Um, but this, actually, this shotgun is a quite cool shotgun, actually. I found this on eBay. Uh, now, actually, this was the one that I was supposed to get before. Uh, I don't know if anyone remembers. Uh, I tried to order this previously, uh, it got lost in the mail, or it never even turned up, I don't know what happened to it, I ordered it a couple of years ago, or last year, whenever, never turned up, and then I saw it on there from another seller, and I thought, well, I'm actually looking for a shotgun, and I thought, I'll try and get that from another seller, and then it actually turned up, which I was quite surprised, I thought it would get lost, like the other one, uh, so I've, to my surprise, actually turning up, because uh, I thought, you know, chances are I'll turn out, probably quite slim but you know it turned up and it's actually quite a good shotgun but uh unfortunately it's too small and it's got it's got it comes with four little bullets you can actually you can actually load it up uh you can actually uh load it up with the uh, uh little bullet the cartridges you can actually put it uh right in the two holes and then It, uh, it looks like you know it's going to be fired, so that's pretty uh, cool. But uh, unfortunately, too big for this figure. Uh, so, guys, I thought I'd just give you an updated uh, thing, and I'll go over it once more. Uh, probably won't be doing this again. You'll probably see the figure, obviously, in the collection. But chances are, probably ain't going to do this 
uh, ever again unless I ever get any more weapons but I think I've taken it as far as I'm probably going to get it uh, so guys that's going to be it for this uh, this is for all the ones that like Punisher uh, so guys hope you guys enjoy this video take care bye for now see you soon